Okay. <clears throat> Got another box in the mail today. Ordered this through, from Am through Amazon from one of their cookery knife carriers. So uh, let's take a look at it. And see how this baby came out. this tough tape on here. It's that tough corded tape. Not for that knife on take it out though. <coughs> Look up inside the box. <coughs> Excuse me. There's <coughs> only one item in there. information on this. It's heavy in the hand. Okay. Wow. This might be a little tough job to open up with a one hand, one hand operation. Be my assistant. Come on. Oh my kids. No, wow. The lady don't want to help me. She don't want to be my assistant. But be a help me. Alright, so. I can get into it. You wrap these babies good. Okay, so I get, get into it now. Hold it open. One. Two. And there she goes. She's come wrapped. And, uh, That's the company, the ex Gurkha Cookery House. Twenty-four-seven customer report, free shipping on first purchase. Fast delivery upon checkout. Well, I guess this is when you order it online. You know. And this is some of the different models I guess they sell. Got a Rambo knife. We saw it on the back. Mini jungle. Dragon blade. Got a few different different ones they sell here. But wow, this thing. A little rough on the scabbard there. Okay, with the scabbard. It's hard and dry. Yeah, it's hard and dry there, but I, I, I expect that from these <clears throat> cookies. It's hard and dry. A little rust on the, uh, the, the ribbit pins, fastening pins, fastening the lever together. Okay, let's see what the, that's the charter. Ooh, she rusty too. I got a little rust on there. I think that surface rust will probably come off fairly easy. But she been sitting a while. That's the one that's for sharpening because it's dull. 
And this is the other one. So, I mean, that's not rust. That's just wood. Wood way they stuck it in there. Is it sharp? Yeah. It is sharp. Yeah, so that's, that's a sharp little, sharp little implement there. Blade is about two and a quarter inches long. Okay. Like I say, these scabbards look terrible, but hey, maybe, you know, I did see one guy, uh, Sweet Costa Rica. It's, he's, a, he's a big cookery fan, big Nepal cookery fan. He's more into the Toro Blades ones, though. But and he said that uh, he just let these soak in some um, some oil, mineral oil, and ba or baby oil overnight, and um, that'll soften them up, and make them more su supple and, and pliable to touch. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I'm gonna try and get it out of here. 